Hey guys, welcome back. Happy holidays. I had a wonderful holiday and I hope you did as well. Now this is my first full video back after the holidays and Hoam decided to kick our year off 2024 right by sending us a new product to check out and review. Now what did they send us? They sent us their wireless microphone, the Mic 01. Now I will put a link down below that way you can get a bit of a discount. It is a limited time offer. Now they sent me the dual microphone system and it's wireless, something I've always wanted to check out. So anyways, without further babble, let's get into this and see what we actually get within the box. Get rid of that bit of plastic. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the uh, orange and black coloring as well. So let's see what we get in here. We get Hoem, take a moment. This is our little instruction manual. So you get your instruction manual and, oh, that's kind of cool. That is a small little unit that contains everything. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Let's try and find an end. Oh, that's just down well. And that's our little unit. What else do we get here in the box? Let's check this out. So that's it for the box. So what do we get in here? We get a USB-C cable that is used for charging. And I believe this should be a pair of windscreens. Dead cats, whatever you like to call them. Man, they're tiny. There we go. I don't know about dead cats, but these are fuzzy little kittens. Almost makes little puppets. So you get a pair of those. Why? Because we have two transmitters, which is really good. Now, I'm going to probably say that is really handy a lot in this video because from a lot of the features that I've seen of this, it basically is really handy. So this is our unit. We simply open this up and we already have some power lights on there, but this is how it looks. That is pretty cool. I think what we're going to do is put some specs up for you right now. Pause the video. You can go over this and you can see all the little details on the specifications of the unit. Okay, the first thing I talk about is the battery life. Supposedly you got about a 20 hour runtime on this. The case is rechargeable with the USB-C port. Also, your transmitter recharges within the case or it charges by USB-C on the bottom. Now, the nice thing with this is it has a TF slot here, so you can put a little memory card for backup audio recording or you have the ability to use this as a voice recorder. That is really handy. In the top, you have a little port here that you can use a little lavalier star microphone with it. The microphone is a 360 degree omnidirectional microphone, which is fantastic. And you've got two buttons on the side. Now the buttons on the side is your main power one. And it also works as a shutter release for video or for photo. That again is really handy. The button just below it will be your noise cancelization. And you have two levels. Well, three if you consider off, standard and high and then you can come back to off again on it which is really good if you double press that button you will get reverb and we'll test that in a minute most times you don't want reverb because it's got that echoey sound but it is a cool little feature added on to it so that is basically your transmitter your receiver part now i will warn you about this this one is a lightning adapter it also comes available in usb-c for android the other bonus with the USB-C is if you have one of the modern cameras, you can simply take this, plug it into the side of your camera, and now use it with your camera. There is other workarounds to be able to connect it otherwise, but so this is your little thing here. You've got your two channels indicated on that. It also has a, a five level gain, so you can live monitor because we got a little port on the side here so i can put some earbuds in or headphones and i can live monitor the channel and i've got five levels of audio with it. That is really handy. And again, it simply charges within the case. So, I mean, check out the features on this. There's a lot of features with this and I'm hoping that I'm getting it all covered for you because like I say, there is a lot. But right now, why don't we test that reverb and see how well it is? And I mean, pairing this thing up is really easy. I basically just plug this in. Now, if you have a big case, you might have to take it off. Mine is not, so it works quite easily. I just got to wait till this pairs, takes a second, boom. Now I am in reverb mode. How does that sound? I imagine it sounds very echoey and very distant. I'll put it here because that's about where it will be hanging. But I'm not attaching it because I need to keep playing with it. 
that the quick brown fox jumped over the fence, the quick brown fox jumped over the fence. Now, I've turned the reverb off, the quick brown fox jumped over the fence, the quick brown fox jumped over the fence. This is the audio coming from this microphone. How does it sound? Now, let's do the microphone from overhead that you've been listening to. The quick brown fox jumped over the fence, the quick brown fox jumped over the fence. So there you go. That was a test of the reverb, a test of the microphone, in comparison to what I did have. Let me just turn that off. So that is the basic audio from it. Now, a common question that people are going to ask is, can I use this with a gimbal? The answer is yes, and maybe. So let me grab a couple of gimbals here to show you. You have two gimbal styles. This one, as you can see, these are both Hoam gimbals, by the way, are a non-issue because your camera mounts this way, like thus. So it's not a problem because this part's free and clear. The problem you're going to run into is when you're using this style microphone because your phone, let me just shut that off. See how it sits on the bottom? Because the back end has to rest back here. Now, it's still okay to do that because on the back of this gimbal, I can adjust the arm. If I can't totally adjust it, there are counterweights that you could buy. Amazon has them. So you can use it with this style gimbal as well. Make sure you check the weight rating of your gimbal. This uh, receiver weighs about five grams. Add it to your phone's weight. Make sure that you're well within the limits, but it'll work with the gimbals and you don't have to just use it in vertical mode. You can mount it back here and off shift it and recounterweight it. It's that easy. Now, one other thing that I almost forgot to tell you is the uh, button at the top here is if you double click it, your power button, that will get you into mute. So you can mute the microphone which is kind of handy that way. And having the two in this one gives you the ability to do an interview style podcast. But I think what we need to do is, I've, I've done the quick test in here. You heard the reverb, you heard what the mic sounds compared to what I'm using. We need to go outside. How is it with the wind noise? And we need to do a distance check. And I want to really test that uh, noise cancelization to see how it is. So let's go outdoors and find out how good it is. I'm testing the microphone right now for wind noise. How is it? I'm spinning around. How is the wind noise? It is pretty windy out here. I'm in an open field because we're going to test the distance. But how is that? That's probably pretty noisy. Let's put the dead cat on. How's that now? I have the dead cat on. Obviously, the wind hasn't changed. That is blowing really hard on me right now. How is that wind? Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to test this microphone for distance. They said 100 meters, let's find out. I'm gonna time warp 100 feet at a time. Let me know, we'll see. So I'm gonna time warp this up, but I gotta measure out. This is gonna take a while. Here we are at 100 feet, how is the audio? On to two. Not sure if you can even still see me. I am at 200 feet, how is the audio? All right, guys, 300 feet. Hello, I am at 400 feet from my cell phone. How is the audio? Hopefully it's crystal clear. Let's see if Hoem lied and it's greater than 400. 410 feet. Here we are, 425 feet away. Now it's a line of sight, straight line. Oh my Lord. That was a workout. 425 feet away at the max. Did it work? How was the audio? I'm not gonna know until we get back in the studio. Now, I'm not sure if you can really hear any extra noise around here, but we're gonna take this off and try the noise cancelization. I am on noise cancelization level one. I hear a bit of background road noise. I am now at noise cancelization level three. Again, I won't know until I get back in the studio how this is. No noise cancelization. Some road noise. Anyways, that's it for this. I'm going back in the studio where it's warm. Here we are, back in the studio where it's toasty warm. Now, before we carry on any further and give you my summary, I just want to let you know, as you saw, this is the uh, 
two mic unit. They do have a single mic unit. There is a case available. I know for the single, I'm not sure about the double because that leads me to my only complaint. I have nowhere for the little dead cats, windscreens, and I'm gonna lose them otherwise, so I'm gonna find a little case if home doesn't have one. Now, at the time of this recording, which is before the release date, this is suggested around about $130 US, I believe. We know exactly when this video comes out, the price will be there, but that'll give you kind of a ballpark of what it is. The single unit, I don't know. Feature-wise, this thing is packed, and the book actually goes over and gives you a ton of information, so it's not just all digital. You got something you can tuck in your pocket and carry around with you. I think everything worked great. The noise cancelization, I got to the noisiest spot I could find, even at level one, it eliminated the issue. So I'm very pleased, I'm happy with the results. I had no problems with everything. Everything connected, paired, did everything it was supposed to do, and all the functions and controls worked like they were supposed to. So I'm gonna do some more video using this microphone setup. Maybe we'll do a bit of comparison. Speaking of comparison, check this out from Hoem. This is a comparison against some other leading brands. You can pause the video, check it out, and you can see the feature difference between them. But yeah, on the whole, very, very pleased. And I do like this little extra loop here. So it makes it handy to attach. But yeah, that's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. So until the next time.